The hunt for ISIS followers in America now extends to all 50 states. The George Washington University Program on Extremism reports 56 suspects have been captured so far this year for alleged ties to ISIS. That is the highest number of terror arrests in this country in a single year since the 9-11 attacks. The FBI is investigating the most cases in New York and Minnesota. Jeff Begay shows us what makes this manhunt so tough. Of the 71 people charged so far with ISIS-related activities, most are men and 25 years old or younger, and they come from an array of ethnic groups and socioeconomic and educational statuses. No common profile spread throughout the country. Lorenzo uh, Vidino no is one of the report's authors. So there's no cookie cutter ID of who these people are. Could not be more heterogeneous. And that's a problem for law enforcement. Profiling absolutely does not work. No other case is perhaps more representative of that than the arrest of a Mississippi couple in August. Mohammed Daklala and Jalen Young were arrested after the FBI noticed their pro-ISIS Twitter posts. Over the last year, FBI Director James Comey has said repeatedly that his agents have their work cut out for them. There isn't a particular demographic, either it's the location or to age. The, the Syria travelers early on range from something like 18 to 63. The report says the so-called ISIS U.S. echo chamber continues to attract followers on Twitter with posts like this one. Mujahideen are true real men. 300 American ISIS sympathizers involved in the U.S. ISIS Twitter scene were monitored during the study, and nearly one-third of the tracked accounts are purportedly operated by women. A lot of what's said online is just talk, but the report concludes that at some point, a subset of Americans inside the domestic ISIS bubble will move from chatter to action. For CBS This Morning, Jeff Begay's in Washington.